One of the best things about living in Melbourne is its endless supply of dining and entertainment options, many of them found right here in the heart of the CBD. This month is no different, so as we head towards spring, I've got some exciting options for you to add to your social calendar. Melburnians love a musical and one of my favourites, Hairspray, is now playing here at the Regent Theatre on Collins Street. But before we go backstage and meet some of the cast, let's check out a few cute places for a before or after theatre snack. Heading down Flinders Lane towards Elizabeth Street is Rule Galette, a cosy French crepery tucked away in the historic Bible House building. We've got some crepes and galettes here. Yes. Run me through, what's the difference? So the galettes, they're made from buckwheat flour. So you can see that the colour is a bit more brown. They're a bit more crispy and they're gluten-free. And then we have the sweet crepe made from plain flour. They are a bit more softer than the galettes. Here we have the most popular ones with egg, uh, cheese, ham, mushroom, black truffle oil and a little green salad. A lot of popular flavours going on. You've also got some exotic ones like escargot. Yes, as you can see here, that's the escargot galette. And uh, it's very traditional as well to have it with some garlic and parsley sauce. So this one is the lotus. So inside we have some biscoff spread uh, with some homemade cream and some ice cream. And then on the top we put some homemade salted caramel. I think I'm going to leave the snails today and I might try this oh, lotus biscoff one. Nice, here. nice, right? Bon appétit. With a burst of sweet energy, it's back to Collins Street for all the fun and music of Hairspray. The multi-award winning hit musical debuted in Melbourne last Monday night, exactly 20 years to the day it first opened on Broadway. Well, Robert, it's great to see you back on stage in such a fun production. Talk me through your role. That's amazing. I play Connie Collins, so hosting the TV show for the nicest kids in town. It's got so much heart. I mean, it's all about being the best version of yourself, and Tracy Turnblad definitely embodies all of that. It is 1960s you know, segregation in America and the coming together of everybody at, by the end, like that we're all just in this together and we all get to dance and sing and have a really good time. Sing? Let's uh, hear a number from you, can do we? Do you want to hear a little? Okay, uh, <laughs> what gives a girl power and punch? Is it charm? Is it poise? No, no it's, it's hairspray. Hair oh my God, what an entrance, <laughs> the star of the show. Carmel Rodriguez plays lead character Tracy Turnblad. It's the 23-year-old singing teacher's first big break after making the semi-finals of The Voice in 2016. Originally, I wasn't going to audition, but then my aunt had seen Shane Jacobson talk on TV saying that they were looking for a Tracy, and she sent me the link straight away. It was like, audition, audition. I was like, oh, no, but I've already done it before. I don't think I need to. And then I was like, you know what? Why not? This isn't the first time you've performed Hairspray, is it? No, it's not. I did it in high school. I auditioned just to be an ensemble member, and then they were like, I think I think she's got something. So they put me as Tracy as well. So I'm doing the same role again. She's still got something. She's fantastic at the <laughs> It's very hard working with Millsy, I have to, to say. <laughs> That's not it, no. <laughs> I get so starstruck because I've grown up watching them on my TV, and I've always wanted to meet them. Shane Jacobson plays your mother. We've got Todd yeah. McGinney plays your dad. Rhonda uh, Birch. Rhonda Birch plays, like, the, the villainous character of the show. She's the nicest person I've ever met. She comes into my dressing room being like, hello, how are you doing today? And Shane Jacobson as well. I mean, he's just invited me over to dinner, which I'm very excited about. All right, I'd love to hear another quick number if you've got time. All right, we will, but you have to join in on some of the Cory. I knew you'd Motion say that. Motion of the ocean. OK. Brain from above. OK. Try to stop okay. paradise. Dream it up. up. OK? Yeah. Sure. Sure. All right, all right. You ready? Right. Okay. Cos you, you can't, can't stop the motion of the ocean or the rain from above. You can try to stop the paradise with dreaming of... <laughs> <laughs> I've got time for a quick after-show treat, this time directly across the road at Bistro d'Orsay, a classic French restaurant tucked under the awning of the Athenaeum Theatre. It's the perfect place for a post-theatre debrief where you can enjoy some incredible French food. But I'm here for one thing, their famous creme brulee. And this one here is one of the best in town. Creamy custard on the inside and this great crispy brittle top, which is so much fun to crack into. Oh. <laughs>